Welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you how you can run this Deria Incentified node and be part of this 2.4k active node so that you can start earning your Deria points. But before I proceed, instead of you just waiting for me to make content here on YouTube, you can just follow me on Twitter at OXDMO. Then turn on notification and with that you will get notified on the latest crypto updates which I will share either on short guide or food trade. You can also join the WhatsApp channel if you are more comfortable using WhatsApp and with that you will get the latest updates at your fingertips. That is because I always update my WhatsApp community every morning and every hour I have an update to share. You can as well join my Telegram community if you want to engage with more people and ask questions which I will also place down the link below this video. And lastly, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to get more explanatory and educative content like this. And with that being said, for you to start running this node, you will need this command guide. So I will link down this command guide below this video so you can follow along. Now for the requirements, you will need Gemini API, you will need Operata API, you will also need Olama API and maybe open ai api but open ai cost money so we'll be sticking with the free apis like google and open router and maybe olama api you understand although for the sake of this video i just did gemini api but you can just get the open router api and do it alongside you understand so when you come to the google ai studio which is a gemini studio you click on get api then accept then you can see this option that says create API key. So you can just go through it so that you don't get confused. But I'll just click on create API key. Then I just have to wait for you to load up. And you can see this is our API key. You understand for my Google account. Then I'll go to my notepad and paste it. You can do the same thing for Opera Router. So you can just go back to the command guideline. Then just go to the Opera Router and get an api key and paste it on the sound actually you can run the two so that you can get more points so with that being said the next thing is to get a vps and from this document you can see that the vps will be going for is this four cpu core and 60 gig of ram although if you want to run more powerful models you can go through it again then you'll be able to see the specification which you will need to get so with that being said the next thing is to come to Contable, which is my favorite VPS provider. And from the cloud instances, you can see that VPS1 cannot do it because of the 6 gig of RAM and 4 CPU core. But for this VPS2, you can see that it's 6 CPU core and 16 gig of RAM, which means that this VPS2 can actually run this Deria node very well, you understand? So with that being said, you just have to click on VPS2, then it will take us to this section. And from this section, you can select the period of time by which you want to run the node. You can select three months, six months, but I would suggest you go for at least three months, you understand, so that you can run this node straight three months without even thinking of renewing VPS. And it's actually cheaper. Now, one thing again is, if you use the link below this video to buy a VPS, you will not pay the setup fee. You understand which is very important and this setup fee can cost an extra seven dollars so make sure that you try to not get this setup fee because it's so frustrating now talking about payments some people normally talk about buy bit card or on body but i've been using great card for a long period of time right now and it's actually working so i'll suggest that you get a great card and fund it with naira you understand then buy your vps but if you're already having bybit you can actually request bybit dollar card from bybit direct then fund it with usdt and with that make payments it's it's actually easy you understand so you just have to think of how to get it done you understand my point but if you don't have bybit you can also use onboarding which is another platform again that you can get dollar card and pay with crypto so with that being said you can see that i've actually paid for this vps with my gray card so i'll just have to wait for like few minutes or one hour before logging into the vps so after some minutes that is when we'll be able to log into our vps so what i normally do is 
open putty, then you paste in the IP address that you got from the VPS, you understand? Then copy your password. Now, before you log in into putty, I will suggest you come to this selection part, then click on Ctrl Shift V and put it on system clipboard. That is when you'll be able to copy and paste with Ctrl Shift V, which is very important, you understand? So now we just type in root, then paste in the password that I got from the VPS. And with that, Contabo is open and we are into our VPS already. Now, before you proceed, you can type in sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade y. But I've already done that part. I skipped that part already. So I'll just move on to the script. Now, this is a script. It's going to take some time. So you just have to make sure that you give it that time to load up. It can take up to like three, four minutes, but you just have to wait for it. And make sure that you have a stable internet connection. If not, this putty will keep crashing. So when it's done loading, it's going to show like this. Thank you for using this script. So now the next thing is to install screen. You understand? You can type in sudo apt install screen. Then wait for it to load up. Then after that, that is when you're not typing this command screen dash s dash sudoria. You understand? Now remember that you need to install screen first if the VPS is new by typing apt install screen or sudo apt install screen that is when you'll be able to create a screen for your diria you understand so now the next thing is to type in this following command you can go to the directory cd dk compute then run the the diria node you understand so it says enter a secret key now this is the part whereby you have to enter your metamask key because you want to link the node with your wallet so you go to your you go to your your metamask or your Xerion to get your private key in my own case i'm using Xerion, so i'll just unlock my Xerion wallet and copy my private key now remember that the private key does not need to have that ox you understand so you can go back to your notepad and edit it and remove that first ox you understand and paste it so that is exactly what i did but i skipped all, all that because it's a private key so you don't need to see that now the next thing is to pick a model and this is the part we got the API for. So if you are running the Gemini model, you have to pick the Gemini number and the open router number, you understand? So depending on the kind of model you want to run. For my own case, I'll be running open router and Gemini, which is number 10 and number I think 25 or 24, you understand? Although for the sake of this video, I did not include the open router part because while I was recording the open router part, the file, the video file corrupt and I could not retrieve the video. So I just did only for Gemini. But it is the same process. You just have to pick the API from the from either router, open router or Gemini. Then you enter the number, which is 10, then slash 25, then you proceed. Now, after you enter the number, it will request for the API. Now, for the Google Gemini, I just have to copy the API which I got. Then I have to go back and paste it. You can also do the same. After you paste it, press enter. It will request for the open router. So you can also do the same. And now for this Jira API, remember we are not running Jira now, so we have to skip it. You can just press enter to skip it, understand? So that's exactly what I did there. You just press enter and you skip this Sapial note too. Then let it run and you can see that it's actually running right now so you just have to wait for a few minutes it's going to take up to like six seven minutes before the node will properly start running you understand so that is it now since the node is running inside that screen you cannot detach the screen by pressing ctrl ad you understand so press ctrl ad you will not leave that screen that does not mean that the node is not running again you understand so if you encounter any error you can use this path to fix it but since my node did not encounter any error i just have to move on you understand so now the next thing to do is to join their uh, discord you understand and get row you understand my point so you just have to use the link below this video or that link to join that discord you can see that we are less than ten thousand people on that discord so when you join that discord come to the row part and you get the the, the rows just try to get as many rows as possible you understand but there's a specific rule given to people that are running the node and for you to get that you will need to come fill this form you understand you need to fill this form so when you come to this diria form You'll be able to submit your node you understand so you can click on start 
on board node runner then you enter your public address which is the address that you used in running the node you understand so i paste it then move on then enter your discord username or enter simply dm which is that name you understand then you press ok and enter your twitter username so i'll just enter x.com slash oxdmo then submit and with that we are done with this daria node so all you just need to do is to watch back monitor our node and wait for updates and start ending points so if you know this video was helpful make sure you show it by liking this video and subscribe to the youtube channel for more free informative content like this and also don't forget to join my telegram community and my whatsapp community and as you might already know i'm dmo so thank you for watching and see you on my next video